Hello, amazing people. Welcome back to my channel. It's Jovi Q again, and today I'm going to show us a secret that I've had for a little period of time. Is it a little period of time? I've had it for, for a while anyway, and I've kind of introduced it to a lot of people, those who want to accept it. And um, this is the first time I've seen anything about it on YouTube, even though I've, I've done that on my um, Facebook page. I want to talk about a certain leaf or flower-like leaf that helps with issues concerning skin infections, athlete foot, um, eczema, um, just name it, just name it. And um, I know we have some medications and some creams that can actually help with this, but sometimes it comes to a point whereby these things, this medications don't help in a case where you find yourself that you've used all sorts cream be cream the antibiotics beast antifungal beast whatever it is you've used over time and it just doesn't work and you're like hey this is the end of the matter there's absolutely nothing i can do about this i have to leave with this condition well i have good news for you there is something natural that you can do to help you. Now, this is how I came across this um, leaf or plant. When my son was a baby, he had a rash and I assumed it was a nappy rash. But along the line, I started seeing the same thing on his body apart from his bum. And I saw it on his face too. He had discoloration on his face and he was always uncomfortable, you know, and... I visited the dermatologist, used all sorts of creams for him, and it just didn't work until I had to confide in a friend of mine who in turn had to talk to somebody who told her that there is this particular plant that she can get and boil it for the child to drink and the same plant to be used to bathe the child. So when I was told, <laughs> you know, the second instincts of a mother is... What do you mean? What kind of plant? What kind of flower? <laughs> you must be joking. I mean, am I supposed to give my child such something I've never seen before? Something like, you know, even though she brought the flower, but I, I repelled immediately until it was more like my husband was like, let's just give it a trial by just using it to be the child and let's see how it goes. And to my surprise, the first uh, bath and the second bath, and I started seeing the difference immediately. And that flower is none other than this. I hope you can see clearly. This is how you identify it. You know, this flower, I made to understand that this flower has the female and the male on the same plant, or on the same tree. It's not, is it a tree? It can grow as much as a tree, but Mostly we find it as a flower that is used to decorate the walls and decorate um, the surrounding. And this is the flower. I hope you can see it. It's a leaf-like flower. You know, it has this way of um, arranging itself. But this is the way you can identify it. I'm going to put the whole, um, the whole tree, the whole flower right away. So this flower is called the copper leaf and it's something that you just look at and you overlook. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to, I, I don't know how to, I don't, I don't know how to, I don't know what to say seriously because it's very easy to overlook this thing. Very, very easy. I see it all the time and it's just one flower. You know, in fact, when my friend brought it and said, this is what I was asked to give to you, I was like... <sighs> What is this? I thought you were going to, you know, seek the advice of uh, probably a medical personnel or somebody who knows a lot about um, the right medication to use for my child and not a herbalist. <laughs> she was like, no, it's not a herbalist. It's a friend who introduced, and the person is a Yoruba woman. I know Yorubas are very good with herbs. Let's give it to them, to our Yoruba brothers and sisters. They are good with herbs. So... My friend kept on bringing this flower, bringing this flower, because it wasn't, and it wasn't anywhere around me. So she kept on bringing it, brought the flower to the extent that the person who owns the flower started chasing her. This flower did a lot of things. It, it, it was instant. 
because the child started by getting relief, was able to sleep well, then I just ignored that. I was like, that was just one of those things. Not it has nothing to do to the to, to, to do with the flower. It's not attributed to the flower. But as time went on, there were changes. So more years along the line, I used it for another child. I introduced it to a parent who used it for her child. The result was almost immediately. And it was more like a confirmation for me that this actually does wonders. Because this time it was in my compound, even though I overlooked it and didn't have any reason to use it. But after it was administered for a child, even though I don't um, encourage drinking it because I don't know, I'm, I'm not a herbalist, so I don't know the, the, the dose or the dosage for it. So I don't encourage anybody drinking it. But if you know what it takes to, for this flower to do, justice to your body by drinking it go ahead why not go ahead and take it because it's not just uh it doesn't just help with um, um with skin infections it helps with other diseases so this flower helps with fungus foods eczema food odor um all sort of all sort of uh, skin infections that you know that medications cannot get to you have tried it all and you've given up why not just give it a trial? The name of the copper leaf is Akalifa Wilkesiana. I'm wondering how exactly are we supposed to remember that, but just knowing that's copper leaf, that's enough for us. Um, even though I don't know the Yoruba name for it or the Igbo name for it or whatever, but we know that it's a flower that we see almost all, all the time in several places that people use it to decorate their houses. But this is a very good skin infection medication. It aids healing fast so it is something that you might want to incorporate into your healing process and and i'm sure you will get better and one more thing is if you um feel beaten with it will not give you the kind of um um like will not target the the infection as much as you want want it to you can actually use it as a bath immerse yourself into it for those of us who like to have bats, bats you can immerse yourself into it and if it's a child and the child has a nappy rash that you've done everything and he just doesn't want to go and lately if you can be very very observant you even realize that some of some of the sanitary pads we have in town get people infected not because you're not neat but because of the components of uh the production i don't know what to call it i just don't know what to call it but they make people feel very uncomfortable after a long time so and most of these products are barely checked most of them are imported and there's nobody to hold accountable for it and you have something that looks like a nappy rash even after using it you can do some cyst you can do cyst bath from time to time to to eliminate such if you do a cyst bath for like a week using this i'm sure you'll be better in as much as you use other medications with it or well, even if you don't want to use any medication with it fine i don't know however you want to give it a trial go ahead and give it a trial but i know it's not harmful to the skin but for those who are not sure if it's harmful to their skin why not just do a do i say a patch test by applying it on your hand like this for some time leave it on you can try it like two or three times in a day leave it on if you don't feel any reactions or allergy then you can go ahead and use it three ways to use it my recommended ways <laughs> is either you bathe with it or you immerse yourself into it no three you bathe with it you immerse yourself into it or you do a cyst bath depending on where the infection is localized when i say cyst bath i'm talking about babies or if for instance you're one woman who has um, um do i say <laughs> let me know use the word dapa rash you have a sanitary towel rash and you want to resolve that you can also do that but mind you you can do it and apply your normal cream do not leave it out don't leave it out I don't know about drinking it. I don't know how, what the dose is like or the dosage is like for drinking it. So if you bathe with it over time, what you should do is after bathing, you allow it to dry on your body before you clothe yourself or apply any of your cream. You can actually use it with the cream you've been using before. The same cream you've been using, which you are, 
not getting results for because it will help to improve your healing, uh, your healing time. So I'm not saying um, totally um, remove all that you've been using. Even if you're using, if you know you're not getting any better, why not give it a trial? So if you have any other remedy to help people with, why not just put it in the comment below and let us get to know more about the plants we have around us. Because to start with, this is a plant that you can basically overlook, but it does a lot of good for us. So if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, why not consider hitting on the subscribe button, share this video to help other people, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.